Uh, so one participant is asking, what about publications? Is it okay to publish as more as possible, but not in uh, high level journals? Or to publish fewer, but only top journals? Because actually, yes, there is ongoing conversation between supervisors and PhD students. Yeah, yeah, this is another really, really good question. Um, I think the answer to that is, is very much dependent on, again, two things. You as an academic, your opportunities, you, your personality, and the type of university you want to work for. Um, if you were, want to work for one of the top 10 universities in the world, um, it is likely that um, they will want you to publish in the top journals and you won't be shortlisted for a job if you don't have publications in these, these top journals. But there are thousands and thousands of universities in the world and there are universities um, that um, have more of a focus on applied research, which typically doesn't get published as easily in top journals. Um, so if that's where your passion lies, then don't get up, go and apply uh, for the top universities because they will, will force you in a particular direction that you don't want to go. Um, and then in general, like with everything, try if you can to have a bit of a mix. Um, if you have one or two publications in top journals as a young scholar, that's great because you, you've shown you can do it. But you don't need to do only that um, because you might have many interesting ideas and to get a publication published in a top journal, in some cases, it might take years and years. Do you really want to spend three years of your life on a single publication, whereas you could also do three or four different projects that you're all passionate about? and and maybe publish in a lower level journal, but it's still out there. People can still read it. People can still use it. And we will all have this, this experience um, once we've published um, a number of articles that it's not always our, our, our articles in the top journals that are the ones that are the most read or the most cited or uh, the most useful to people. So try and, and find a mix that works for you, for your institution. And also consider, are you going to stay in that institution or that country for the rest of your academic career? Or do you want to be mobile and work in other countries? Um, and then do these other countries have different requirements? Um, so it's all about you and the fit, person environment fits, um, as they say. <laughs> 